Right, Coach, you guys are coming off a weekend where you won two matches, uh, one nothing over Red State and 2 nothing over Green Bay. They were your fifth and sixth shutouts of the season. Just again, I know we've talked about it again, uh, before, but what what is this defense, uh, the back line, and, and Sarah Wood been able to do to, to have all these shutouts this year? I think they've been, you know, coming into training, working really hard and uh, paying attention to detail, being very compact and disciplined in the back. Uh, you know, they know how important it is to, uh, you know, to get behind the ball and not allow opportunities for, you know, the opposing team to, to get in behind us or, you know, anything that comes easy, we're not going to give teams. Uh, and, the, and the players understand that. And that's, those are things that we're looking at. And, uh, you know, the players are executing, which is, you know, great to see as a coach. And, uh, you know, just excited about, uh, you know, keeping a clean sheet the last two games. Two wins, also two individual honors in the Horizon League. Ali Saratsky, the Horizon League Offensive Player of the Week, she scored a goal and had an assist. And Sarah Wood, the, the uh, Defensive Player of the Week, seven total saves and two shutouts. Talk about their performance last week and what they've meant to the team this season. I think, you know, when you look at Ali, she's such a big player for us and uh, she plays big. And uh, you can see how uh, the effect she has on the team every day. And uh, she works really hard. And that's one of those, she's one of those players where. You tell her what to do, uh, and she does it. And uh, you know, just to have a player like that to coach is exciting because you know you know that they're always going to give 100% day in and day out. It's not just in games, and uh, she really deserves that award. And I'm I'm very happy that she did get it. Uh, she also knows that it was obviously part of the team's efforts too. But uh, you know, when you're looking at Sarah Wood too, she came out big. You know, the last two games, making uh, big plays and just you know using her high to. Uh, her advantage and being able to get those, you know, those long balls. I noticed in the Horizon League that, you know, it's a lot of direct uh, play, and uh, you know, Sarah's got to come big for us every game, and uh, you know, just very happy that she also received an award this week. And then finally, hard to believe, but Saturday at four o'clock against USC is the final regular season home contest. It's also going to be Senior Day. Um, seniors uh, Sabrina Abram, Kelsey Fisher, and Amanda Civic. Have all meant so much to the program, especially this year. And unfortunately, the, the four senior Lindsey Strayhorn couldn't play this year due to injury. But what have those four? I know it's only your first year in the program. What have those four seniors meant to, to the program, and especially this season? I think they provide, you know, great leadership, and uh, you know, I think it's important with the experience that they do have, is you know, to come out and be consistent and demand a lot from themselves, but also their teammates. Uh, you know, they're part of the the group that leads this team, and uh, I've been very pleased with you know, the work ethic and their mentality. And, uh, you know, I know they've been here for four seasons and it's it's difficult for a new coach to come in their last season, but they're very excited. Obviously, we've shown great success and the changes have been excellent. So um, I thought they've done really well to adjust uh, to the new style and buy into everything right away. Because sometimes it's hard when you're, you know, having to coach seniors and they're used to three years of the same way, but uh, they did really well to, uh, to adjust the new system, the new mentality, and, uh, and I've been very pleased with them.